Hello, how's everyone doing? Um, so I have been noticing a lot on social media, obviously, because that's pretty much all anyone is doing now. Um, all of these um, quotes and memes about how being um, in quarantine is going to make everybody fat or an alcoholic um, because we're just sitting around snacking and not getting a lot of exercise. Um, so I decided to um, do a video kind of in uh, response to that. Uh, so it's, this one is going to be about cravings, about food cravings. Um, and uh, particularly um, for me, my craving is chocolate. Anyone that knows me knows that that is my vice. So I created it to be generic. Um, so I'll say like this food in the tapping, but in your mind, whatever that, you know, food is to you, you can replace it with that. Um, so we're going to close our eyes and we're going to think about what your food craving is. What's that food that you just cannot say no to that you think about that you crave all the time, whether it's chocolate or potato chips, something salty ice cream, just take a minute and think about and get really specific. Like, is it a specific type of ice cream? Is it Ben and Jerry's, Cherry Garcia, vegan ice cream? Like, what is that specific food that you crave? So we're gonna take a minute and just like visualize yourself eating it. The way it tastes, if it's hot or cold, if it's sweet or salty. How does it smell? What sound does it make when you bite into it? What is the texture in your mouth? What does it feel like? So hold on to these feelings, these sensations. And we're gonna start on the karate chop. And close your eyes and just picture yourself eating this food the entire time we're tapping. Even though no matter how hard I try, I cannot resist eating this food. I deeply and completely love, accept myself. Even though no matter how hard I try, I can not resist eating this food. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though no matter how hard I try, I cannot resist eating this food. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And then top of the head. I cannot resist this food. All my senses are asking for it. I am hungry for it. I have to have it. I cannot stop thinking about it. Until I eat it. Even though I know it's not good for me. even though I know I cannot resist it. Top of the head. I cannot control this craving. This intense craving. I feel so weak against it. I know I can't resist it. And I know I'll feel guilty as soon as I do but I'm not thinking about that. Why should I deprive myself? I need it now. Top of the head. I know it's not a good choice. I need to take a step back. I know it's not good for me. I need to slow down and think clearer. I need to take a deep breath. I'll be okay with or without this food. I'm okay. I forgive myself for my past choices and I'm ready to make better choices. Put your hand over your heart and just take in a few deep breaths.
So you can use that in the morning um, to kind of set the intention for the day, or you can go back and when you're like sitting there thinking that you wanna go eat that particular food, um, you can pick a point on your body. My favorite point is the collarbone point. I just find it like relaxing. I think it's just like, I don't know, like someone's patting me on the back. So if you are going about your day and you have that craving, just tap there and um, you can pick one of the um, one of the, the points that we said and repeat that. Um, you can say, um, I need to slow down and think clearer or I'll be okay with or without this food or I'm ready to make better choices and just tap a few times on that. So I hope this helps with your quarantine cravings and snacking, snack um, choices. And uh, I'm gonna do a few more on, um, on kind of more things that we're experiencing of being, you know, uh, shut in and uh, <clears throat> all the uh, the new nuances that come along with that. <laughs> uh, so I hope that you're well. And um, oh, and the music that we're listening to, this is um, Beethoven's Seventh sim Seventh Symphony, Movement Two, and it's just the first three minutes of it. Um, and this music has been it's used a lot in energy healing and meditations. And it's said that the first three minutes um, are in a frequency that allow you to let go, to let go of things that don't serve you, to let go of um, emotions that don't serve you, to let go of cravings that don't serve you. And I'll post, um, I'll post the link to this on YouTube. It's, it's on a three minute loop and I think it's an hour. So you can just listen to it for over and over and for an hour. I listen to this um, to help me go to sleep at night. <laughs> okay, uh, well, that's it for today. Bye.